Kiowa Island, South Carolina, 8 a.m. Biologist J.C. Griffin feeds his chickens. They are bait. I'm trying to catch bobcat kittens. Almost ghostly, bobcats are rarely seen and photographed. J.C. has been part of a two-year study developed to learn more about these elusive cats. But it isn't easy. This is frustrating to catch raccoons. Frustrating because for every hundred animals he traps, there is only one bobcat. But he has trapped and collared enough to know that the cats are out there and they're thriving. A close relative of the lynx, the North American bobcat is nocturnal, solitary. The bobcats range throughout North America. But largely because of habitat destruction, they have virtually disappeared in some places. Bobcats are opportunists and will try to kill almost any prey available. The deer population is very stable. The major reason is the bobcats, because they really do prey on the deer hard here. Island officials fear that without the bobcats, Kiowa Island's deer population would increase, and so would car accidents. We want bobcats here. We want as many bobcats here as possible. Since there's no hunting on Kiowa Island, uh, the only way to control the deer population is uh, really through bobcat predation. The town wildlife biologist is Jim Jordan. There are probably more bobcats living in proximity to development than we really think because they're so hard to see, typically. They're very shy, um, and they could be living, you know, not far from houses and people may never know. Let's see if we can find it. With the help of a radio collar and triangulation, JC can determine within a few yards the exact location of a bobcat. I didn't see him, but I know he ran right across here a second ago. Just follow me, and we're gonna just move real slow. But even with that kind of help, it took more than an hour tracking through people's yards to catch a glimpse. Finally, after hours of tracking, JC flushes him out of the brush. The cat makes a brief appearance, lurking near someone's house. It helps to have those kind of predators here. I think bobcats are one of Kiowa's most valuable assets. An asset that biologists hope will provide a natural control for deer in other parts of the country.